Uh, we're going to be playing some Albion. Oh, but before that... Hello, Yeska. Hello, mate. Oh, watch. He's tangled himself up in the wires. Hello, the pup. Hold on. <laughs> He's got far too excited. You're going to come up. You're going to come up. Hello. Hello. Say hello to everyone. Everybody, this is Yaska. Yaska, this is everybody. Oh. <laughs> the story so far. A, I got myself a little notebook. I say, got myself a little boat notebook. Anyone that's played Dungeons and Dragons with me will know that this is my my DM book. So. I've just uh, I'm using the end of my DM book as my Albion book. All my notes are going to be kept in here. But yeah, the story so far, we were on the Toronto. Uh, the mining vessel found a new planet, what we thought was uh, uninhabited. We are a shuttle driver, driver, pilot, same thing. We were on our way to scout the surface of the planet with one other dude. Uh, and everything went wrong. We crash landed on the planet. Uh, we woke up, found ourselves in um, some alien's house that had been taking care of us. Turns out the planet is not uninhabited. It is, in fact, very habited. Uh, so we're having to wander around uh, this new village after we have learnt the language, the local language. Uh, there is two main guilds, the G Cass and the G Fad. The G Cass is the magicians' guild because magic exists on this world, and the G Fad is the formers' guild because everything is made out of plants in this uh, on this continent anyway. Apparently, there's other continents where things will be different. Um, but yeah, the G Fad is, is the formers, so they they create giant buildings out of uh, out of plants. Effectively, the leader or the council leader, anyway, or the Sabana. There is a lot of weird terms in this game. Sabana, Sabana, not sure yet. She uh, or he, <laughs> Janice is the name. Uh, so I've given her a female voice, but she could well be a dude. Who knows? Not me. Anyway, uh, she had a nephew. Uh, it was going to be his like naming ceremony and then suddenly out of nowhere uh, a human turns up shoots the guild leader of the G Fad the uh, oh let me just double check she shoots <laughs> yes the the guild leader of the G Fad which are the formers the builders uh and because of the law on the planet we as the only other humans in the vicinity have been tasked uh, with finding out what went wrong. Like, who hired... It was an assassin. Who hired this assassin? Uh, the, the leader of the other guild has been taken into custody because they think that it was him that ordered the kill, but it's all a little bit too suspicious. It's too easy to be him, in my mind, anyway. So we'll find out in this episode... And hopefully, we will get some actual action this time. So we just left it. Um, we just let. Oh, actually, everyone's getting tired. Give me a second. I need to change my game category. Ta-da! Sorted. So yes, yes. Um, it's all just gone down. Uh, Akia, if I check my notes. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Akia, yes. Akia is dead. His daughter uh, is actually part of the GCAS, which is the Magic Guild. She kind of defected, and her and her dad had never talked since that she defected to the Magic Guild. Now she's really upset. Anyway. We might be able to find the killer, the assassin, somewhere in the village, apparently. So off we go. Well, 
first, we need to find somewhere to rest. <laughs> but thanks to uh, yesterday, we now know where to find somewhere to rest. It was a long and arduous journey to find that. And thanks to Kaido, if you're watching, man, if you're still here, he suggested that... Well, he didn't suggest. He actually remembered that we had the key to the uh, the guild house. Oh, I don't think we want to go down there. We want to go back outside. So we could actually get out of the... Uh... Oh, sorry, not get out. We could actually find somewhere to rest. Fool. Fool that I am. I know everyone's getting tired. Everything is a maze in this game. Just putting it out there. There is no easy way to get out of anywhere. Oh! There's the smash window that the assassin escaped from. Bum bum bum. Can we pick up any of this stuff? Oh, what's that? Oh, it's different herbs. Nah. As we found out yesterday, I had a lot of useless stuff. So I'm going to try and not steal quite so much today. <laughs> try. I can't guarantee anything because, you know, I'm RPing Tom as a kleptomaniac. He sees something, he wants it. Buckets. Towels. Vials of weird liquid. Everything's fair game. If you just joined us, thank you very much for joining Albion. We finished up with Tomb Raider and Castle Wolfenstein for the day. So this is going to be our last game. Uh, yes, I know everyone's getting tired. I'm having a look around. Slash trying to find the exit. I think 90% of this game is going to be trying to find the exit. Because you don't have a map inside. So you just have to memorise every single one of these buildings. And all of them look the same. Ooh, kitchens. Oh, I know where we are. Because this is the healer. Fair play. Ooh. And I might as well plug it. If you're watching for the first time and you fancy giving us a follow, pick the button and I would be thoroughly, thoroughly happy to accept you as a follower into the retribution. <laughs> that was terrible, wasn't it? Uh, one of these days I'll get a slick, <laughs> a slick transition. A spirit comes up to Drear. Uh, Drear is uh, um, the... Uh, leader of the Styric, which are the like the city guard. Disri Madria, a cattle breeder, just came into the city who says he knew the Kenget Camulos murderer. Oh, he saw the Kenget Camulos murderer go into the ruins of the old former centre. Kenget Camulos are the warriors. Um, they're humans. There is humans on this planet. We didn't know this until just recently. That old former building, or the old Argim, as some say, lies to the northeast of the city, I believe. I have never been there. Let's go there immediately. Perhaps we can catch the guy there. Nice. Cheers, dude. <laughs> He's walking away backwards. Just moonwalk your way around the city. Why not? For those of you that are, are unaware of this game, it was made in 1994, so you can't expect groundbreaking things. I do need to check out the map now that we're outside though, so that I can get my bearings and we can head back to the South Wind Clan to rest. Also, we were supposed to go down to the basement and clear out the, bla the basement of the, the South Wind Clan. And I kind of, I say I figured it out. Kaido, again, if you're watching, thank you. He figured out the key. And there is a locked door inside here. But 
we have the key for it, so hopefully we can get into the basement with the key. <laughs> Ta-da! Let's rest. Yeah. Party rests for eight hours. I'm happy with that. Like, the dude on the outside, he's gone into that, um, the old former building. The story with that is, apparently, so the, the, the Builders Guild, the formers, uh, there was an old uh, former, like the directors of the former, ages ago. Uh, he went mental because he was really good at building stuff out of plants, which is what the formers are all about. But he went mental uh, and he wanted to become uh, one of the, hold on, let me get the term, uh, one of the Sebais. Which is where they, they basically they continue their life through the life of a child. They like transfer their being into a child. Sounds a bit weird. But anyway, he wanted to become a Sebai. Uh, which is like uh, the chosen ones. And you can live forever uh, as, as a Sebai. Because you can just tra transfer your consciousness from one person to the next. However, he was denied this uh, honour. So he went mental. And the former's guild that was outside of the city, he just like I turned it into a, a, a wasteland, and now no one wants to go in there, which is where apparently this assassin has run. So we'll be running after him, and I assume that will be a dungeon. Speaking of dungeons, I do believe we're going to be going into a dungeon right here, right now. Oh, torches, because we're going into the basement of the. Can I pick up multiple? Yes. The basement of the Hunter's Guild. Rags. Nah. Sorry. Just had to check that uh, nothing important is coming through because I'm home alone now. Ooh, a small Iskai shield. Yeah, sounds good. Empty bottle. Normal. Ooh, 25 foods, though. Let's give that to Rainer. Rainer Hofstede. The German, in my mind. He's only German because Blue Byte is a, is a German software co uh, company. So, yeah. Yeah, so we're supposed to clear out this basement, so I assume we're going to get... We're going to get into a fight now. Well, actually... That said, I should probably save. First and foremost. Boom. If we're going to get into a fight. I haven't fought yet in this game, so it could go terribly wrong. So, where are we? Let's go into the character screen. Now, we've picked up a load of daggers, a shield, a kitchen knife, a stabber. <laughs> Stiletto, a hunter clanky. Oh, that's. Oh, we got an Iskai leather cap. We can't wear that because we're human, I think. The character has the wrong class. Uh, examine. Can be used by warriors and G Cas mages. Are you a mage, Drear? What are you? He is 16 years old, a warrior. The combat is pretty interesting, I think. It can be hard or easy depending on the approach. <laughs> right. Well, we'll figure out an approach. It'll probably be the wrong approach. Um, he is Celtic? Any? Oh, well, I see. The languages that he speaks is Celtic and this guy. Combat. Oh, combat positions. Ooh. What is this? Well, he's a warrior. So I assume he's going to go up, up front. And Tom... Well, he's a, the leader... And uh, well, Rainer didn't seem as strong as Tom, did he? Uh, he has protection 2, damage 0. Well, you currently don't have uh, a weapon. We've given him some. Examine. The double stab, which gives 6 damage. The small axe, which gives 5 damage. And the Iskai knife. Which gives one damage. Okay, right. Double stabber. Stabby stab stab. 
So... Combat positions. Yeah, we'll put Raynor at the back. Although he doesn't have a ranged ability, does he? Maybe we, we sandwich him between Drear and Tom. I haven't fought yet, so I don't know what's going to happen. I assume sandwiching the, the weak dude between the strong dudes is probably a good idea. Uh, Drear. You have an attack of three with your big Iskai dagger. And you have an Iskai chest plate. Ooh, can we give you... Excuse me. Can we give you the, the leather cap? Yes, we can. Oh, look at those Iskai abs. That thing on his forehead? It's called the tree. Uh, as in T-R double I, not double E. That's their, like, soul center. If they get damaged to that, they can get, like... They can get pretty confused and uh, have like, odd characteristics. Oh, is he? Right here, we're looking at the MVP. I'm up for that. Okay, his protection is now five compared to... Four for Tom. Alright, so he's going to be our tank. And two for Reyna. So he, yeah, you want to be yeah, right at the back for Reyna. Dreer, let's put Dreer in, in the front. Oh, man. Oh, okay. So if he's at the front, we'll give him the double stab. Because that's the, the hardest hitting weapon that we have. Hold the phone. Oh, I see. He's got a dagger in his tail. And he's also holding a double stab now. Can, can you dual wield? No, you can't. Damn. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, that doesn't... <laughs> Alright, you've got a small axe now. There you go, Rainer. Five. Five is enough to... It's a respectable amount of damage. Thirty, however, is the best amount of damage. We've got eight bullets. Do I want to... Hmm. I think I might be overthinking this. We have the gun still, but bullets are a super commodity. Oh, a bow. Okay. Well, if we're going to replace it, we might as well use it now. This is going to be our first fight, so... Might as well try out what we got. Oh, a small Liskai shield. Oh, we need to give it to him first. Oh, man. Protection 8. Damage 9. Come at me, what's whatever's down here. Oh, now that, that that took us ages to do. Let's save. The first few fights are a bit nasty, but it only gets easier. Oh, I don't want. Wait, should I make you the leader? Hello. Ooh. Wait, so. Uh... You can see in the dark. Not very far, apparently. Sounds pretty fun down here. I was expecting... Uh, some, I was expecting something a little bit more spooky. Um, but I suppose this is just the basement of the building. It's not... Oh, I, I hope we get into a fight down here. Contains nothing. Oh, we needed a key to get down here. Why can't we? 20 foods? Yeah, I'll take 20 foods. The Iskai have a better eyesight, but you can use a torch to help. Cheers. Large clay vessel. Right, so let's uh, set up a, a torch, shall we? Oh, we need to go to 
Tom. Because Tom's got all the torches. Use. How long does it burn for? Does it say? No. Do we just have to... Oh, look. That's easier. That's a lot easier. Oh, no. Let's still make Drea the main, the main leader, though, because he can see a lot, a lot better. Ooh. Nope. Chests. Is it chests? A supply chest. Why is there nothing in here? Supply chest. Come on. I want more than this. Drew finds something useful in this chest. What does he find? Throwing daggers. Ooh. Ah. I thought we could equip a, uh, a range tool. So I wonder what the uh, the second one there is. Maybe we have to gain levels to, to unlock alternate weapons. You've got 26 rations, brood. Brood? Dude. No. We want that manipulate button. That's what we want. There it is. There is something interesting under the old stuff. Aromatic root. Sounds pretty fun. Let's have an aromatic root. Buckets. Oh, I've had too many buckets in my time. Knives and swords. Sounds good. And there's nothing down here. Oh, I like it. There's there's the picture of uh, all the stuff. How much is a... Uh... Sword. Damage eight. Wait, what was what was a double stab? Six. Looks like you're you're having a sword, which means, Reyna, you're gonna have a double stab. Can you dual wield? No. Stop it. Get off. Kaido, I think your suggestion is finally about to pay off. <laughs> we're finally gonna get some action. Well, I hope we're going to get some action. Ooh, rubbles. What's been down here creating rubble? A pile of metal. Oh, it's the shuttle remains. There's nothing functional in it. Oh. Large clay vessels. This is thoroughly underwhelming so far. Looking through pots. Ooh, ten food. Why is Rainer in charge? Large clay vessel. Pile of metal. More piles of metal. Check them all though. Gotta check them all. Piles of metal. Oh, there's a clock! <gasps> awesome! Just as I was about to uh, to give up. Unbelievable! This clock still works. Wait. What? Activate. The clock has been activated. Oh, look at that! Well, I never. We got ourselves a clock. It was worthwhile coming down here. <laughs> Excuse me one second. Yes, Kev. <whistles> Sounds like he was up to something. There he is. You all right, mate? You're gonna come, come up, come up here. Come in, up to. Stop being a fool. I won't swear. Up to you. Come on in. Good boy. There you go. Go on in. Let's do it. Rise and shine. Off to work. No? Go on in. <laughs> oh, I think he's really quite annoyed that everyone seems to have left him. Yes, girl. Up to. 
you want me to lift you up? He's hurt his back legs at the minute, so he's not particularly happy. Come on, mate. Come on, him. And sit. There you go. Have yourself a nice nap. You're not coming on my lap. Because you're too big for me to... Oh. Oh, God, I thought that was a bomb then. <laughs> I thought zero, 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 zero. Five, and I thought I had five seconds to defuse a bomb or something. He's a good boy. He's a handsome boy. You're also... You're black, so you're kind of... <laughs> you're merging in with the background there, Yaska, but... Good show, anyway. Oh, no. No. You can sit up there if you want, mate. No, he's going to curl up underneath my feet. Poorly boy. Archetype. Good afternoon, Squire. Where have you been, man? We've needed you. Okay, okay. You're just in time for us to do something in Albion. And not just get annoyed. He's now wrapped himself right around the base of, uh, of my chair. So, I'm not going to be moving the chair at all. Ah, fair play. How is your nan? Not that I've ever met your nan. Oh, is our... I think our, our torch has run out. <laughs> yeah, that sounds... That sounds nan-like. Ooh. Oh wait, is that is that where we came in? Yeah. Have we done the whole basement yet? Our torch seems to have run out, I think. Maybe we need to, to light another one. Nanish. Uh wait, we can rest down here? Sorry, Yaska. I just kicked him. Whoops. Map. Ah! Ah, there's a map. Ooh! Didn't mean to do that. There we go. Okay, so we can see where we're going now. Oh, Yaska, I'm really sorry, mate. I've put myself in a bit of an awkward angle here. But I don't want to move the chair. I don't want to run him over. Yaska, you're going to come up here. Go on. No, he's happy. He's far too happy underneath the chair. Under underneath me, uh, underneath my feet. Bless his cottons. I'll just have to lean at an awkward angle. <laughs> Where are we going? Oh, we're going to light, light a torch, aren't we? Ah, light yourself a torch. And away we go. Oh. Patch of... Oh, hello. <gasps> Suddenly, several things start to happen at once. The ceiling collapses behind the group... Really? The walls in front of them move and are torn down by sharp claws. Predatory creatures come out of the newly created openings and cr attack. You've joined at the right time, Star Cannon. We're just about to get into our, our first fight, I do believe. A collapse? And what kind of animals are these? They look aggressive. Pay attention, Driscoll. Uh oh, what do we do? Attack. Is that, is that telling us to attack? <gasps> ah. Our first attack. Oh, I should have saved, shouldn't I? <laughs> <laughs> Start round. So, uh, what do we do? Scrin. These are scrins. I should write that down. Enemies. Let's, let's bring ourselves up a new page, shall we? Enemies. The screen. I like the I like the soundtrack. Um, obs observe? No. What? Drear. Oh, Drear. Okay. Um, you are going to. Uh, 
Uh, not do nothing. You're going to attack, aren't you? you attack whom? Attack you. And Tom, what are you going to do? You were going to... Oh, you've got a gun, so can you attack at range? Long range weapon has no ammo. Can I, can I load? Canister. Eight into... Wait, what? Put down canister. I now have... I've got a canister in that hand. And I've got a gun in this hand. Is that all I need to do? Let's find out. Hopefully I don't have to load it singular each time. Clonk. Bang. Clonk. Bang. It's alright, Aska. Um, so, yeah. Do, do I now have... I now have ammo. Okay. Um, now, Reyna is really weak. So, what am I going to do with him? Do I try and sneak him around the side and attack? I mean, can we can we see? Can we click on the screen and find out their their health points and stuff? No. Hmm. Hmm. Flee! <laughs> Just get out of there, Reyna. <laughs> um, I am going to wait. No, no, I'm going to move. I'm going to move you here. Oh, is that my entire? That'll be my entire thing. No, Noreen is just going to stay where he is. Because he looks weak. Just smack them till they die. Heroin DP. Isn't that, isn't that life's greatest lesson? Oh, hello. Oh, it's all gone a little bit too fast there. Um, I think I attacked. I think I shot and I missed. I think that's what happened. Um, so you're gonna, you're gonna just going to carry on shooting. Well done, Tom. Well, it's point blank now. So. And I didn't think... Did we take any damage? We didn't take any damage, so they must have missed us as well. Uh, Reyna, you're in base-to-base -base contact there, aren't you? Yeah, okay, all right. Let's, let's gang up. Both of these guys. At attack this one. Uh, yeah, let's go for that. Wait, can I, can I slow down? Oh, I don't want to... Can I slow down time? I'm gonna, I've gone to 50% cycles now, so maybe that'll that'll be a little bit slower. Okay. Yeah. Ooh! Oh! Good lord! Rainy just took four hit points. Damn. However, Tom absolutely obliterated that dude. Alright, so we need to take out this screen before it kills Rainer, apparently. Um... All right, so these guys are still attacking. Uh, you know what, Tom? You can take out that dude. Well, these guys go for the the screen. Um, Rainer, eight of twelve. Ply me. For more epic fights like this, <laughs> make sure to press that follow button. <laughs> okay, Tom is going to attack him and try not to hit the drear. Oh, Star Cannon, you've been looking after your, your little niece and nephew. Oh, it's kind of leather cap is broken. Dude, that didn't take long. We only literally just put that on. Oh, oh! <gasps> mm, look at that. Sorry, Asker. No, it's all right. It's all right, mate. <laughs> Luckily, he's got up, so I can move my chair now. Oh, you good boy. <laughs> Right. So everybody in the party gains 40 experience points. Rainer's level 5. That's 4, that's 5. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, that sounds like my luck. Drea's reached level 5. What about Tom? Oh, he was already level 5, wasn't he? Iskai leather cap. A broken Iskai leather cap. <laughs> Fine. Fine. 
So, uh, let's, let's heal up. Wait, we can rest down here, can't we? Is that a really bad idea if there's enemies? It's probably a bad idea if there's enemies. <laughs> we need to find a, a, a different way out. Uh, let's... Oh, we have some stim drinks? We got stim drinks. Uh, so... Tom, you need to give... You need to share out your stim drinks, man. You are hogging all the stim drinks. Oh. No. Use. Examine. Drink. Uh, so, how many is this going to... Oh, oh, okay. So, we can share it out like that. Stim drink makes Raina feel better. Six. All right. That's a, that's a respectable... A respectable amount of HP back. Uh, oh, and we can give one to Drear as well, because he's got 18. So if it gives us six back... Oh, it'll prevent me from sleeping if enemies are nearby. Well, <laughs> I didn't even try. Um, should I like turn that torch off? Is extinguish an option? Uh, should I burn the rope? Burning lasso. Surely that'll do some damage. What is this? Long range combat. 85 of 70? Am I like... Shot extraordinaire? Am I a gunslinger? That'd be awesome. Uh, anyway, what was I doing? <laughs> Stim drink, please. I would like drear. Seven. Oh, we got seven back. Wait. Huh? Ah, well. Right, let's go find more of these beasties. Eggplants. Actually, we should probably just examine that. A large mushroom-like growth. Much like the one on the end of my... Large toe. Rope has its uses. Just not in this dungeon. Fair enough. Oh, hello. Found another one. Attack! Wait, there was two? Yeah, fair enough. Okay. You, sir, are going to attack him, sir. Attack. You, sir, are going to attack him, sir. And you, sir, are going to... Well, he took a lot of damage last time, and he didn't even move, so you're going to stay where you are. Ooh, one damage, one damage. Oh, bam. Pickaxes. Can be useful in dungeons like this. I don't think I have a pickaxe yet. Let's have a look. Uh, no pickaxes there. A small axe, but not a pickaxe. No, lots of stabbers. Lots of sharp objects. Mm -hmm. Ooh, can we eat this? Ah, oh, it's not edible. No, 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 no. What is that? Collection of old drunk. Wait, Drew does what? Drear rummages. <laughs> Fair play. Drear loves a good old rummage. Oh, desk is gone. Oh, he's probably gone downstairs to sulk. Because nobody's paying attention to him. No. His life's over. Looks like possibly more junk in the next room. Wait, what? Can we get through here? Oh, is this going to collapse? I'm just walking into a normal wall. Yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> ah, hole. Oh! Enemies. Ah, oh, we're all healthy enough to attack. Yeah, same again, lads. Same again. I do feel like... Raina should be doing something, though. 
Maybe I'll bring... Maybe I'll put him in a corner. Yeah, yeah, okay, right. We'll change the setup for the next... Uh, for the next attack. <laughs> That's fair play. I mean, look at them. They have got that T-Rex thing going on there. Tiny arms with giant legs. Can we do it again? Bosh! Everybody receives 26 XP. Nice. So how long was the how long ago, Heroin, was the last time you played this? Oh, keep on rummaging, Drear. Believe in you. Nope. Oh, through the wall. Of course. Uh, are we back in Scrap Metal Land? Have we been here before? Have we? I can't remember. Look! Here are a couple of good cartridges. Wait, we found bullets in here? Wow. Yeah, I'm not going to complain. Oh, of course. This is the metal from the ship, isn't it? Okay. Oh, I feel really bad. Zaf isn't here for our first fight. Oh, I was going to change up my um, uh, my combat position, wasn't I? Uh, so I'm going to put Rainer in the corner. Nobody puts Rainer in the corner. C corner. Uh, and Drew is going to be there. No, 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 no. Uh, Rain is going to be there, just in case they come at us. He can still attack. Tom is ranged, so he can go in the corner. Yeah, that's that's going to be our new setup. I'm happy with this. Scrap, scrap, scrap. 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 Ooh, that's a chest, if, if, if ever I saw one. Ooh, another chest plate. Is that the same one? Protection 2. Yes, protection 2. Fair enough. And turquoise healing potions. Biggest guy dagger. I love... I mean, that... That really is... Uh, uh, what's it called? Bounces with Smurfs. Avatar, isn't it? Like a, a tail that manipulates things. They do very... Apart from them not being blue, that is just Avatar, isn't it? James Cameron. Cheeky, cheeky boy. Uh, I did. I, did, I didn't make that up. That that is uh, copyright South Park. Trey Parker and Matt Stone. Not that they're dead. They're in the loft. Oh, pickaxe! Heroin. We found a pickaxe. Who do I give this to? Rainer. You can have a pickaxe. I'm gonna give all of the gold to Tom, actually. No, I'm not. I'm going to share it out. And you can have some food, Rainer. Put these together. Oh, fine. I'll take them one by one. Actually, we were going to give these all to Tom, because he is the burliest. Ooh, arrows. <gasps> Hopefully we get a bow soon. Um, well, Reyna, you seem absolutely useless, so... 
so far, so far. I'm sure he has his own uses, but um, for the minute, now. Let's give you some money. There you go. Oh, there goes my torch. I suppose if we got, if we got this dude that has a uh, good night vision, we might as well use him. There might come a time where we can't use him. What's this? Green healing potions. What is your carry weight? 30 kilos. Tom can carry most things. Oh, is that better Iskai shield? Yes. <laughs> well, that's the challenge then. We will keep Reyna alive. Uh, well, that's that's one more protection, so why not? I can't believe my cat broke. Ooh, 53 Gs! <gasps> we might be able to buy the, um, the compass with that. Which, just for my sanity, I think I need. Oh, we, uh, we already, already searched that one. 22 chickens sitting in a row. Oh, did anyone hear the, uh, the siren go by? If you didn't hear the siren go by, you might hear Yaska howling. He loves a good howl at a siren. Rainer is carrying too much. Ah, oh, you fat bugger. Bugger's fine. She's carrying 69 chickens. No, don't throw him away. Rainer needs some chickens. Are we alright now? Rainer is carrying too much. 34 kilos of 28. Good lord. Right, now he's down, down to 28. Are we just filled with chickens? Ren is still carrying too much. Come on, man. He's picked... You know, there's always one in a group, isn't there? Oh, okay. So Tom's fine. Tom's fine. Good evening, Oki Slayer. Have yourself uh, as, as sane an evening at work as you can. Catch you on flip side. I probably won't catch you tomorrow because I'm going to be doing an early stream tomorrow. So I need to get off. And then next week, unless I manage to get my um, my laptop up and run, running so I can do some uh, streaming on the go, the chances are I won't see you for a week now. I'm hoping to get another stream on Sunday, but it depends. I'm not going to lie. It depends on how drunk I am after... 30th birthday cele celebrations next week. Anyway, after that point, I'll set up a schedule. Have a good evening at work, dude. And yeah, of, of you guys that are left, anyone that isn't following right now, why don't you touch that follow button? Why don't you? Are we... How are we supposed to get out? Because the, the wall's collapsed. <laughs> Just run around in a circle. Can anyone see an exit strategy? Oh! Ah, heroin. Is this where the pickaxe comes in handy? Maybe we need to, to pick up pickaxe our way back through the wall. This is where the wall has caved. Oh wait, he's a uh, he's a cockney. Hey, this is where the wall has caved in. Maybe we can remove the cave in with a pickaxe from the chest. Uh, okay. Who's got the pickaxe? Oh, I think Rainer had the pickaxe. You're gonna finally do something useful, Rainer. Wait, what? 
No, don't throw it away, Reyna. I can't equip that item. Who can? Oh, it looks like it's gonna be. It's gotta be Tom. Our main man, Tomothy. I cannot equip this item. Hmm. You should be able to manipulate. Ah, uh, <laughs> no. Here. Yeah. No. Here. Yeah. No. Here. Yeah. No. Where am I? Oh, good lord, it's dark. There we go, that's better. Ah ha ha! Ta da! Oh, damn it! Raina! In the dark, just swing that axe around. No, Tom's got it. There you go. There it is. Tom strikes the wall with a mighty blow of the pickaxe. The wall collapses and creates a passage. Boom. Through we go. I assume that's us done. Uh, where's the map? Excellent news. This way. Oh, I'm back up to freedom. Oh, it was Sebai Lee Rin. What happened, my friends? I heard noises in the cellar when I came up here. You have a serious vermin problem in your supply cellar, Rin. Oh, uh, it was Drear. Drear gives a thorough report on what happened in the cellar. Rin seems a bit embarrassed. How terrible this has happened to you. The, this house is very old and the cellar has just been rebuilt. Apparently, we have now come close to older areas which are animal infested. Has anyone been injured? I'm afraid so, Rin. We've got ourselves a few scratches. Oh, I'm really sorry about that. Here, take this medicine. Drear, it will help you. Take this medicine, Drear. Rin hands Drear a flask. I'm glad you survived. You, I'm glad you have survived. He's Australian now. No, he's not. Although there will be an Aussie soon. I'm glad you've survived this adventure, friends. We did, didn't, we didn't nurse you back to health just so that you could then be eaten by the animals in our house. Don't let it upset your plans any further, but be careful in the cellar. Who knows how long it will take before we find all the in uninvited visitors down there. Fair play, man. What happens if we rest up? Do we get our health back anyway? Party rest for eight hours. <laughs> Free health drinks. That's an interesting way to walk around with your turn in front of you. I suppose they do use them for stabbing, don't they? My stomach is grumbling. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. I don't think I'm going to be uh, streaming for much longer. Door leads out to the city. Character selection. Go to you. Boom! Uh, right. Let's have a look at the map. We have... I mean, we, uh, where was the... Where was the compass? The compass was down here, wasn't it? No, no, it wasn't there. Food shop. The mer merchant. It was a merchant. So let's head head down to the merchant. Shame we can't put, like, markers or anything, but I suppose that is a little bit ahead of its time. Oh, yeah. We should go to the old former building as quickly as possible. Perhaps we can still catch those murderers. And also, we should probably save...
purposes. Wanja! House of useful goods. Enter in the 6th to the 19th hour. Alright, Wanja. Where you at? Yo, yo! Wanja! Tom, you're the leader. I'm not going to make a Aussie. We're going to wait until we're on a different continent and then we'll have Aussies. Ooh, the assassin. He's going to be Aussie. Disarima, and welcome to the house of useful diversity. Disarima, Wena. We would like to look at your goods. Here you can see my goods. Take a good look at the different items. Look at the repellent. It keeps troublesome insects away. Is that... Is that a clue? Maybe we should... Oh, okay. We have all gold. That is useful. We need ropes. We've got torches. Pickaxe. Compass. I would like to buy this compass from you, please. That makes 68 gold pieces. Do you agree with that, Tom? I mean... I really need a compass. Way in our hands... Tom the compass. Tom the object. <laughs> uh, I have the Tom the object. So, what's this one? A blue music crystal. I mean, I can't buy it because I don't have enough go uh, gold. But what does it do? It's a magical item. That's as much as we're gonna know about that then. Crystal dagger. Oh, crystal dagger. That must do a heap of damage. Eight. Maybe not then. Lock picks. Five. Eight, eight gold each. Fragrant waters. Iskai shoes. Hmm. Wait, is it the fragrant wa waters that uh, are the repellents? What was the repellent? She said something about repellent. Uh, that looks like a, a, a spell. Torch. Pickaxe. Rope. Green healing potion, lock picks, crystal dagger, light, isca shoes, fragrant water, blue music crystal. Hmm. Guess not. It must be the fragrant water. 1.6 gold. Yeah, let's buy a few of these. Let's buy 10. <laughs> Way in the hands. Tom the object. Activate. The compass has been activated. Oh yeah, it has. Yes, it has. Uh, so we still have one pickaxe. Uh, we still have nine torches. What is this? Spell scroll. What is it? It's only two gold. And I imagine... I think soon... We will have... What's her name? What's her name in the party? Sira. Because she is the daughter of the dude that died. Akir. So I reckon, in my mind, story mode, I reckon she's going to join our party and hunt for uh, her dad's killer. That's what I think. So, And she was a mage because she was part of the magic guild. And it makes sense. So I'm going to buy that. So that when she joins... <laughs> Tom the object. Uh, we'll have a we'll have a spell straight for her. Poof, light. Eight gold for lockpicks. Is it really worth it? Iskai shoes. Um, you know what? Does Drea need shoes? Yeah, Drea need. You need shoes, dude. Let's buy Drea some shoes. I agree with that. <laughs> in the hands, drew the object. <laughs> I don't know why that makes me so <laughs> happy. There you go. We have some Iskai shoes. And that'll do, pig. Disarumar, Wayner. We would like to. Oh no, we've already done that. What's your profession? I'm the owner of this shop. What do you know about business? 
My family has run this business for four generations now. I don't know whether that's the same voice that I was doing earlier. But she's only a merchant. Doesn't matter. We don't need uh, continuity here. Uh, what do you know about this item, love? Boots. She's not interested in it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Can we sell stuff to her? Sell these boots. Uh, ooh, ooh. Uh, Raina has the same... You got the same boots on. Yeah, no, you're fine. You're fine. Let's sell those for 0.8 of a gold. Uh, we got green healing potions. We got a jar. Which is a useless item. Oh, okay. Maybe I should keep things like that. Because a canister is not a useless item. A canister <laughs> is a bullet. Damn. Alright, okay. Fair enough. We should keep some things. But not other things. <laughs> not all things. Um, we are done here. Fare thee well. That looks like a... Oh, no. <laughs> Whoops. Tom glances at the chest and notices weapons and armor parts suitable for humans. Humans as opposed to most of the Iskai weapons. Wayna, the shopkeeper, notices the interest and calls out from behind the counter. Oh, yes. Strange weapons. They are yours for 45 pieces of gold. Oh, no, I don't think I've got 45 pieces of gold. Wait, I do. Thank you very much. Help yourself. <gasps> what have we got? We've got studded caps. You can put that on. We've got studded leather armor. Oh, it's right in the center there. Uh, swap overalls. We have a round shield. Uh, you know what? Raina, you can have a round shield. And a decorative short sword. Short. Short, short, short. Short sword. Oh, it's nine damage. Hold the phone. I've just thought. It's a long range weapon. It can be used by top pilots, scientists, and technicians. What is. Oh, we'll, we'll go out of this in a second. Uh, no gold, no rations. Yeah, what what is... Uh, Rainer. He is... A scientist, so he can use the gun! So he can be the range dude. He can stand at the back. He can pot shots at everyone. This makes more sense. Which means... Uh, sword. Where was the sword? Did Rainer have the sword? Yes, he did. So let's give the sword to Tom. He can be at the front. He is front line with Drear. Rainer, you are now a ranged buddy. I'm not your buddy, guy. I'm not your guy, friend. So we need to give all of the canisters to Reyna. Including that one that you're holding there. Thank you, Tom. Let it go. Don't start singing. Uh, right, he's still really close to his carry limit. No, he's over his carry limit. So uh, let's... Move our stuff to Tom. You good now? Yeah, you good. You good. Uh, also, a round shield to Tom. Ooh, you're getting close to your carry limit as well. <gasps> We're going to need to start selling stuff or losing stuff. I don't know. Fruits. So we've got stim drinks, healing potions. Let's... Uh, Let's sort our, our inventory out, our backpack. I'm going to take them all. 
Move them up there. Uh, get our torches. Get all of our ducks in a row. Pickaxe, light. What's your carry weight? I forget now, Drea. Oh, you're close to it as well. Good lord, we've got a lot of stuff. Ooh. Okay. Oh, yes. Oh, look, we've got a compass. We can see where we're going. Thank the lord. Oh, ah, get off me. Oh, I thought that was him talking to me. Oh, is it? Probably. We should go to the old former building as quickly as possible. Perhaps we can still catch the murderer. Alright. I think what we're going to do is we are going to head to the old former building, which is on the outside of the city. And after that, we are going to call it quits for the night. Ha ha ha! Thank you, heroine. I'm one step ahead of you. For once. <laughs> Uh, right, we're going north. Oh, I love this compass. Why don't you start with this compass? It would make the game so much easier to understand. Let's rest up first, because uh, we don't want to be um, unrested going into this place. Oh, no, wrong one. Manipulate. Tom. Please open the door. I wish that uh, the keys were universal. That'd be good. Party rests for eight hours. We are good to go. Tom, you're the leader. No, manipulate the door, please. There we go. These guys are really secretive. If they, you have to keep on locking the door. Oh, it's midnight. No, it's not. It's three in the morning. Same thing. It's spooky hour. Yes, we're going there, dude. Don't you worry. This magnificent house belongs to a rich merchant. He lives a very reclusive life. I doubt we can get in here. Where is this? Oh, it's down here, is it? What about a night? Can we break in? Is there any windows? Uh. Oh, do we have any lockpicks? Uh, the door's locked, but we don't have a lockpick. Maybe if we did, we'd have the option. Oh! My dashboard says I'm offline again. One of the cat sellers lives here. Nice little house, huh? Right, should we head out? Look at it. This plant, these plants gleam in fascinating shades of colour. Oh, is this is this why we need repellent? I see enemies everywhere. Do we have a map? No, we do not have a map. So this is just trial and error. What's this? Rocks. Purple rocks! That's cool. I'm, I'm, I'm a fan of purple rocks. Get off me! Oh, we can rest outside. Mushrooms. A spider tree. Its red roots attract and poison insects. Okay, so if we're getting followed by any insects, we can lure them to the spider tree. What's this tree? A leaf bulb tree. What's this tree? A round topped tree. Plenty of trees. Are you going to come and kill us? Ah, oh, we've been attacked. Oh! <laughs> what? <laughs> that's a lot. Uh, and that's a level 2 screen. 
Okay. Oh, good lord. Uh, I'm going to take a free pot shot, I think. Let's see if Raina has... No, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to cover Rainer with Tom. So Tom's gonna have to go forwards. As Rainer attacks the nearest screen. It's not nice at all. Well, let's hope we can kill it quick. Uh, do I have a ranged attack? No, I don't. Right. Let's see what happens. Oh, Rainer misses. Dude, you're a fool. Okay, right. Tom, you're going to attack that screen. Drear, you're going to attack that screen because you are the most armoured, so you can take a bit of damage. Although, saying that, we don't want to let this second level screen loose. Oh my lord, I have just realised. I haven't saved in a long time. And I can't save right now. <clears throat> Let's hope that we can use uh, health drinks in combat. Misses, misses, misses. There was a lot of misses there. Nobody took any damage. What? <laughs> okay, Reyna. Uh, could you attack... Okay, this screen 2 is, is currently at the back, so we can't do any damage. So you're going to attack... Um, wait. Yeah, you're going to attack him. You're going to attack... Because if you hit, you will kill him straight away. You're going to attack him. And Tom, you are going to tank that dude in the corner. Oh, damage. Damage taking. Oh, one down. Four damage. Oh no, he's left a gap for the second screen. So the only person that managed to hit anybody was Rain at that time. Interesting. Uh, Alright, dude. You know what, actually? You're just going to take pot shots at that screen too. You're going to carry on attacking him. You're going to attack him. You're going to attack him. Yep, start round. Oh, he's, he's come in. He's come in for the attack. Oh, Rainer, you know what? You're not as good with the gun as Tom, apparently. Oh, this second screen is going to take us out soon, isn't it? You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lower the, the CPU cycles again. Because I can't see what's going on in this combat. Rainer's unconscious! <laughs> <laughs> it's fine if <laughs> if I do TPK here uh, then I will get back to this point offline I won't make you all watch it again can we uh, I mean can we uh, give Rainer a stim drink now? Blue healing potion. Too hurt to be healed. It really did, man. Oh. That was a brutal hit on Rainer. I, I, no one else has taken any damage, and he's got the damn gun as well, which apparently is the only thing that can kill these things. Um, we can revive him in town. That's if we survive, heroin. <gasps> right. Let's go for it. Ooh, ooh, oh, geez. Well, you finally hit someone. They've got more than seven health, apparently. Uh, so what do we do? We have to gang up on one, um, dude. Yeah, let's just gang up on this dude. Try and take him down one by one by one by one. 
Oh man, I assume level two is is. I mean, that's quite brutal. He took Rainer down in one hit. I mean, Rainer had a little bit of health off him, but come on, man. Oh, oh good lord! Stop attacking me. No damage done. Oh, we we took one down. <laughs> that's two. I have plenty of healing. I do, I do. Uh, do I take up a, a, a go by using uh, a tur turquoise healing potion or a green healing potion? Let's examine. What's the difference? Uh, that's got 350 grams of, of healing energy. And this has 300... Oh, for God's sake. Um, well, Stim Drinks did the did the job as well, didn't they? Oh, you know what? Because I've lowered the uh, the cycles so much, it's making this uh, uh, navigation a lot slower. Okay, <laughs> let's find out. I mean, Rain is down. Stim Drink makes Drea feel better. How better? Ten. Turquoise is blue and green, thus it must be better. You know what? I'll get on board with that logic. Uh, Stim Drink, however, has done the trick. Let's hope that Drear's stuff doesn't break anymore. Uh, oh my lord, he only has eight protection. Tom is now the tank. Oh, what a fool. I didn't realise that Tom had so much more protection. I should have shared out the protection, to be honest, between him and Rayner. Live and learn. Live and learn. Uh, so, who are we going to go for now, eh? Do we take out the big lad, or do we take out the ads? I'm going to move uh, Drear here. There, mate. Yeah, it does seem that way. Um, let's see if we can move Tom into a better position to tank some of these shots. Oh, I don't want to just move. An entire round is just moving. Okay, actually, now that we don't have Rainer, it's not too bad. It's just Rainer isn't. No! Oh, don't flee. Don't flee. Attack. No damage done, no damage done, no damage done. Ugh. Ah! Have at you! Wait, what did I say earlier? <laughs> Our goal was to keep Rainer alive. How well did that work out? Grint, misses, misses, misses. Alright, let's... let's Take this dude down. Oh, 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 good lord. Yeah, that was that was harder, wasn't it? Harder than I expected. Right. Uh, have another drink, Drea. Make yourself feel better. There you go. Alright, we're whittling down this, uh, this second level screen. Oh, he's fleeing! Uh, Drear, you go here. Can you, I mean, can you do two things? No, you can only do one thing. That's ridiculous. Uh, okay, and then Tom, you are going to chase... Wait, what? No, 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 no. I, I wanted Tom. Tom. What? I'm confused. Tom, move. Is that all I can move to? That is rather rude. Okay, you're going to move here. And then, Tom, you're going to move here. That's odd. Why can't I move up the board? Oh, I see. He's literally just run off. Ah. Clever. Well, not clever. Do we get the XP for making him run off? 
I hope we do. Yeah, you're doing no damage to me. It's like a backhand. Everybody in the party gains 110 experience points. Tom's reached level 6. Uh, and let's go back to town. Damn, man. Oh, no! Oh, what is that? A Warniak. Oh, I didn't move the uh, the party around either. What a fool. That Warniak looks nasty. I'm going to move you here. And I'm going to move you here. Ooh! Yeah, Warniaks aren't, aren't nice. Oh, <laughs> really? Uh, do you think we should stim drink? Uh, character screen. Drew, let's get you back up to full health. We've got enough stim drinks for the minute. Wait, do you think stim drinks are more important than normal drinks? I suppose, yeah. So we can't freely get to uh, to normal drinks. Oh, move, move was blocked. Alright, let's take him out. We've got him surrounded. Ooh, ooh, ow. Another 30 experience. Is that everybody in part... Like... Because old Rain has greyed out, does that mean that he's not getting experience? Ooh! We got a small Warniac Sphere! What's that? Is that, like, testicle? I'm not sure whether I want to keep that in my pocket. Alright, let's go back. Find Rainer. And then, now that we've uh, we've managed to be outside for a while, and brave the wild... Ah, oh, Rainer's getting none of it. Oh, really? <gasps> nice. So, what do we think? Go back to the healer, or go back to our homestead? I say our homestead. Let's go back and rest up. We should, I know we're going, we need to go to the former building, but also, Rain is on death's door, dude. Have a heart. Give a little love. Help me to help you. Rest. Hey! <laughs> Sorted. Okay, well, to round up that action, we have been in the clan's basement. We've cleared it out of nasties for the moment. Uh, we know where the assassin has gone. Uh, we're hot on the trail of her, him, it. And, yeah. Set up for another good run. At next time. If any, any of you guys are watching tomorrow, remind me to give Rainer some... Even like a, a cap on his head. Just to give him a little bit more... Uh, uh, actually, you know what? Why, not, why don't I do that right now? Because I will just forget. Character screen. Let's take Tom's helmet off and give it to Rainer. Because I will just forget to do this tomorrow. There you go. You're, you're fine. You've got six protection, which is more than whatever zero protection you had before. Uh, Tom still has 16 protection, but he's going to be at the front line, so it's fine. Now we save. Uh, I will keep this as like a stream end uh, save so that we can pick up from the same point each time. Just to double check. I've saved that. There you go. Right. Oh, we are done for the day. I literally have no idea how long we've been streaming. 